Hi there, welcome to Welsh Chili, the channel where you can follow our journey setting up a hot sauce company. In this episode, we're going to take a look at common pepper plant diseases and pepper plant leaf spots. But before we do that, can you just hit that subscribe button and the bell notification? It'll help our channel more than you know. Right, let's get to it. So there are a few pepper plant diseases. Um, there's fungus related ones, um, there's bacteria related ones, and there's uh, viruses as well. Um, the most common of all them is uh, fungal related. And um, the way to look out for them is poor growth, um, discoloration in the plants themselves, or um, pepper plant leaf spots. Now, um, you will sometimes find as well yellowing of the leaves or leaves dropping off. Um, I have got another video on yellowing pepper plant leaves. Um, I'll pop a link up there if you want to have a look at that. Now, for a healthy pepper plant, you need a loose, well-drained soil. Um, otherwise, the fungus-related diseases, the destructive ones, um, they quite like a, uh, a moist... Uh, environment so uh, they'll flourish if uh, there's too much water. Uh, bacterial problems on the other hand uh, more often than not um, starts with an infected seed so um, if you get an infected seed and you grow a plant then one plant can kill a whole uh, crop of plants so um, when you go to the shop you can uh, have a look at the seed packets and it'll usually tell you if it's uh, immune from a certain uh, bacterial disease for example hr bls 1 slash 3 means it's uh, highly resistant to bacterial leaf spots or uh, tom means it's uh, resistant to the tomato mosaic disease uh, before we go on to the next section can you just hit that like button for us it'll uh, really help the channel out thanks pests are a real problem as well with uh, pepper plant diseases they can uh, go from one plant to the other carrying the disease and uh, before you know it all your pepper plants have been infected so that's why it's important to tackle the pests as soon as you see an infestation i have a video about pepper plant pests if you'd like to have a look at that then uh, I'll pop a link up there. So let's talk about the hot pepper plant diseases. So you've got bacterial leaf spot, which will start with pepper leaf spots yellowish in colour, and then they will turn into uh, brown spots on pepper plants. And sometimes you'll see pepper leaf black spots. So the next one is mosaic disease, and um, it'll usually create yellow patches on your pepper leaves and sometimes as well uh, you'll have uh, brown spots present. Um, this disease, uh, this virus really attracts insects and um, once you see the virus on your pepper plant it's usually too late to treat it. Um, it stunts your plant and also uh, stunts leaf growth. Another disease is southern blight uh, now this is a fungal disease and it loves warm weather. Uh, when this takes hold, it will rot your stems and uh, wilt your plant until it eventually dies. Another of the chili plant leaf diseases is powdery mildew. And um, this can be found underneath leaves usually on the plant. And uh, it loves uh, humid, warm conditions. Chili leaf curl disease is another. If you want to know how to control leaf curl disease in chili, then what you need to do is control the pests. So white flies, thrips and mites can transmit the disease from one plant to the other. So to control leaf curl disease, try and eradicate the pests as soon as they arrive. And finally, you've got blossom end rot 
which usually happens when there's a calcium deficiency or when you're uh, sporadically watering the plant and uh, it happens in warm humid conditions so um, you can always pull off the peppers before they ripen um, because it only affects the, the peppers as they're ripening so you'll get the end of the pepper um, that'll start um, rotting but um, if you pull them off beforehand then you can uh, still use them and uh, you, if you're going to store some away uh, put them in a cold uh, area away from direct sunlight if your plants have been affected or you'd like some help identifying uh, pepper plant leaf diseases for example if you've got uh, pepper leaf brown spots or black spots on pepper leaf then just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to uh, help you identify them so how do we get rid of and control pepper plant diseases well the first thing you need to do is make sure that you rotate your vegetables so basically if you're planting peppers in one corner one season then uh, move them to another corner and then move them on to another corner so and put something else where you planted the peppers so that you don't get a build-up of diseases in the soil uh, wherever you're planting um, that's obviously if you're planting in the ground if you're planting in pots in a greenhouse or a polytunnel um, you want to make sure after every season uh, you give it a good clean and sanitize so uh, sanitize down your your polytunnel your greenhouse all the surfaces all your pots um, if you've had an infestation uh, that year to make sure that it doesn't carry on uh, in the next season so you can also as i said at the start of the video uh, pick disease um, resistant seeds so when you're picking out your seeds for the following season um, you can have a few packets of them uh, disease re resistant seeds and uh, it should tell you on the uh, on the package as well as that you want to make sure that your plants doesn't get excessive moisture and that the uh, soil drains well now there is a couple of mixtures that you can put together and uh, pop into a spray uh, bottle but uh, be careful with the amount that you add um, because uh, if you add too much of an active ingredient it might kill your plants so um, baking soda is a good one but only add half a teaspoon to a litre of water um, that will get rid of mildew uh, some funguses and uh, kill one or two bacteria as well um, but um, yeah as I said make sure that it's only half a teaspoon that you use per litre um, because at the end of the day it's an alkali salt based mixture and um, if you put too much alkali salt onto the leaves it might uh, clog up the pores and stop the plants from uh, hydrating properly and then the second mixture is hydrogen peroxide but um, use that as a last resort even though it's uh, just water with an extra oxygen molecule it can still uh, hurt your plants so there's a few different strengths of hydrogen peroxide um, it goes up right up to 35 percent but um, what you want to be using is uh, the low version around three percent so have a look at the back um, for a three percent hydrogen peroxide mixture and then uh, you want to add one teaspoon of that to one litre of water as I said before uh, sometimes when you look at the plant and uh, you see these symptoms it's a little bit too late to save the plants from the diseases but um, you could always give these sprays a go to see if you can uh, stop it uh, not necessarily pull it away but stop the disease in its tracks so I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learnt a bit about common pepper plant diseases and uh, pepper plant leaf spots I'd like to thank my patrons for their support and uh, we'll see you on the next one remember if you're gonna go hot go super hot